We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings in the wonderful, precious, holy name of Jesus. It is Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here, and I'm so happy to be with you. It is another day that God has given us by His grace and by that special, by that wonderful, by that amazing, by that glorious grace, we will make it through. We serve a God whose love endures forever. And I want to tell you that God loves you. No matter what, God loves you. And God is with you. Hold on to Jesus. If you've moved away from Him, there is always time to come back. Our Lord is so merciful. And He loves with an everlasting love. And He's always willing to receive us back. So no matter how far you may think you have fallen, you can always come back to God, and He will receive you. My dear friend, I want to tell you something today, and that is that you are an overcomer. Say that with me. Say, I am an overcomer. Say it again. Say, I am an overcomer. Hallelujah. And you have what it takes in you to overcome, to defeat and conquer all the attacks of the enemy, to overcome all the challenges, to overcome all the trials that you may face, to overcome all mountains standing in your way, to defeat every giant that is trying to stop you. You have power in you. You have the Holy Spirit in you. You have God with you. You have Jesus Christ. As you have given your life to Jesus, you are no longer the same as you were before, before you knew Jesus. You are born again of water and of spirit. And the Holy Spirit of God lives in you. We go by a different set of rules. We are in this world, but we are not of this world. We are ambassadors of heaven. And therefore, we have what it takes invested in us by God through His Son, Jesus Christ, to achieve and do great things, to make it through even the toughest times, to prevail, to push on and to prevail, and to come out victorious. Let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit, and then I want to read to you from the Bible. I trust, know, and believe this verse will bless you, and it will take you to a greater glory in your faith. Wherever you're listening to this, Right now, in your own words, welcome the Holy Spirit of God and let Him lead you and guide you as we end up praying together at the end. It's so important that we invite the Holy Spirit. We allow Him to move and to teach us and to lead us and guide us and to help us to pray. So right now, let us begin. Precious Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, take over control and help us to pray. Help us to press in even today. And help us to go to a greater glory. Help us to know Jesus more and more. Help us to pray as we ought. And help us lead us into all truth. Amen. My dear friend, it says in the book of 1 John chapter 4, verse 4, it says, You, dear children, are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. I'll read that to you once again and let us break it down. You, dear children, are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. This shows us that as children of God, we are not alone. We are not going in our own strength. God is with us. His presence is with us. His Holy Spirit is in us. Our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says, because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Greater is he who is with me than he who is in the world. If God be for us, who can be against us? 
If God be for us, what trial can stop us? If God be for us, what situation can stop us from moving forward? And I don't say this to brag in our own strength or to boast in our own strength, but to boast and brag in the strength of God because God can do it. We know in all humility, in our own strength we are weak. In our own strength it is difficult. In our own strength it is hard to make it through. But by God's grace, by God's strength, by God's divine ability, by God's divine power, we can make it through. The grace of God is sufficient. His grace is sufficient in all seasons. And I want to tell you, even in this season, you are an overcomer. And you shall overcome. You shall be victorious. It is not over. The best is yet to come. The grace of God is sufficient. And hold on to His grace. Hold on to your faith in Him. Believe in Him and push on through. At this point in time, it may seem as though it is difficult. You may feel tired. You may feel tired out from all the battle that you have faced. But I want to encourage you keep pushing forward. Victory is knocking at the door. Breakthrough is coming. And our God is good. Our God is gracious. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. I want to pray for you in line with this word. And I know God is going to do something. Be expectant and believe. And he will bless you. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. Let us begin by praising God for a few moments. And as we discern God's presence, then we'll begin to pray. Father, you are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end, the first and the last. The one who was, the one who is, the one who is to come. Our God who speaks and you live. And you make a way. You deliver us. You set us free. You make a way in the wilderness. And you take us to greater glories and greater levels. And we hope and we trust in you. We put our faith in you. We choose to believe in you. For you are good and your mercy endures forever. Your mercy truly endures forever. And we will make it because you are with us. Thank you for all that you do for us from the small things to the big things. And thank you for today. Thank you for your presence and thank you for this word. In the name of Jesus. Amen and Amen. My dear friend, now I want to pray for you for a moment or so. And I trust and believe God is going to bless you. Connect in faith, believe and receive. I encourage you, comment and agree from wherever you're watching and let us believe and trust God together. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Whatever my dear friend might be going through in this point in time, at this moment, as my dear friend is tuned in, I pray that you will release strength that my dear friend will overcome that my dear friend will overcome and defeat any giant that is standing in front of them. Any giant of evil. Any giant of darkness. That my dear friend will overcome every mountain and pass through the valley and come out shining on the other side, victorious. Give my dear friend strength, divine ability to push on and not to give up, no matter what, and to come out victorious on the other side. And I pray that you will do miracles, signs and wonders in my dear friend's life and take my dear friend to a greater level and a greater glory. In the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. Amen and Amen. God bless you, my dear friends. God be with you. May the grace of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.